Welcome to Flourish. I'm Diane Planadan and you're in the right place if you're ready to create an inspired life. And we do so by working on our own personal development so we can be strong role models for those we love and mentor. Today's show is a little bit different, a little more personal in fact, because I talk about a lot about building your mind, your spirit, working on your mental health, working on getting to the next destination by staying strong, by persevering, because you are resilient, because you deserve it. So does your children, so does your family, so does everyone. In the big picture, we're all connected, right? So I thought, what ha- what could I share with you that's something that everybody, and I mean everybody, struggles with? So I decided today it was going to be all about exercise and how I built my exercise habit, my exercise regime, how I built it slowly. Because let me tell you, when COVID hit and the gyms closed and (laughs) I uh, basically only exercised to walk my dog and he's tiny, so uh, it wasn't exactly working out. And then those pounds started creeping up on me. Mm. Could it be just because of exercise? Or could it be because, uh, yeah, one slice of pizza turned into two, and then maybe a whole pizza. One glass of wine turned into two, and maybe a whole bottle of wine. (laughs) Who am I kidding? Yes, in fact, everything built up gradually. Not overnight. The pounds don't go on overnight nor do they come off overnight. And if you've been watching the show, you probably saw that, hey, you know, has she gained weight? Yeah, yes, I did. So uh, once I started observing myself, I took the first step and I started reading books on health and habit and how it was formed. Big reality check in that mirror, you know, like I had a couple of choices. I could choose to stay in the status quo. I could choose to, oh, I don't know, maybe buy more clothes, (laughs) bigger ones, right? Or I could choose to take back control of my body, take control of what I chose to feed it, what I chose to do with it or not, and what I chose to help me get that way. And a funny thing happened. I thought, I read all these books. I think I wrote, I think I read five books on habits and what you have to do and how you have to put your running shoes beside your bed as a cue in order to exercise. Well, that didn't work. The cues didn't work for me. (laughs) Literally didn't work. I thought nothing is going to change until I do. So I looked into different uh, home gym equipment, COVID, yikes. They, everyone sold out across the universe. And I happened upon uh, the Peloton website. And I thought, oh man, those are expensive bikes. Could they really be that worth it? And, well, lucky for me, I thought, oh, I, I just, I don't have that cash right now. Uh, I've allocated all my funds towards other projects, etc. And they had a payment program. So I thought, you know what, I'll go for it. I didn't know at the time there was these huge Peloton groups online and buy and sell groups and people who bought it and went, went eh, I don't buy that Kool-Aid. <laughs> you know? But I thought, okay. And uh, lucky for me, the the delivery didn't take that long um, because I think it really depends if you're in a, where you're located, et cetera. But that's, you know, logistics on the Peloton side that I don't really, (laughs) didn't affect me. So they have a little app that you can start working out with uh, until your bike is delivered. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's great. Never did it. So the bike's delivered, and I'm like, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, the shoes fit perfectly, and they came with a cute little set of dumbbells, and they fit nicely on your bike, and it's a beautiful bike, very sturdy, very well built. 
But then I didn't know where to start. So I just started with a class. I thought, oh, what the heck, jump on, get going. Oh, my goo goo dolls. It is not like riding a bicycle. <laughs> it is very different. A spin bike is very, very different. So I was on the bike and I'm like, oh yeah, I'll do it at nighttime. And for me, exercise makes me tired. So I thought, that's good. And, but I had gotten rid of my other habit of like a little glass of wine with dinner. You don't really exercise very well once you've had a glass of wine. I'm just going to say that out loud. So I thought, hmm, that's not good. So then I started exercising earlier because I still wanted that glass of wine. And then I started exercising, you know, in the middle of the day. And I'm like, wait a minute, I'm not getting anything done. And then I decided, okay. And, and a lot of false starts here. I'm not going to sugarcoat it here. A lot of false starts. A lot of days when I didn't even get on the bike. A lot of days when I didn't even think about exercising. A lot of struggle. I had to embrace the struggle <laughs> and just embrace the struggle because nothing was going to change until I did. And I also did actually one other thing. I bought a scale that was smart. And this scale, uh, I think it's called a Renfo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. But it actually tells you uh, metabolically when you step on it where you need to adjust. And my biggest surprise was in as much as I'd gained weight, I didn't really think about what type of weight. And it was literally body fat percentage. And this scale does not lie, regardless of what the actual weight was in kilos or pounds, the percentage it shared with me of body fat was shocking. So, reset button, let's cut down on the fat, let's pick up on that exercise regime and make, uh, and make a conscious decision in order to reprogram the subconscious, in order for me to make this exercise regime a habit that just was on autopilot every day. I had to consciously be aware and make decisions and choices. What am I doing? What am I eating? Etc. So I approached this exercise regime the same way I approached starting this podcast. I thought, what have I done in the past that's really worked? What have I done no matter what that's worked? So when I started this podcast, I told myself, I'm going to do 10 episodes. If I can get to 10 episodes, then I'm going to build on that and I'm going to do 10 more episodes. And then I'm going to have milestones that connect. And I'm going to keep going. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I, I'm still learning, honestly. This is episode 150. But I'm building on it and I'm keeping on going every week. And now we're into our third year and I'm absolutely thrilled that I did persevere. Because some days it was easy to say, eh, not today, maybe tomorrow. The great thing about having uh, the Peloton or any fitness app that works for you is you can see your progress. You get little rewards. You get all these badges. I didn't even know about that when I started with the Peloton. And then you can start working out with friends. I don't actually know any of these people that are my friends on Peloton, but <laughs> it's, it's kind of fun. You're working out together, and uh, you get a little badge at the end of the day. Sometimes you know if people are working out, and sometimes you don't, and etc. But the point of this episode is to tell you how I built upon it. So I finally went, okay, girl, get up. And as soon as you have finished washing up, 
not showering, etc. Just, you know, brush your teeth, that type of thing. Let the dog out. Get a bottle of water. You're sitting on that bike. And you are not a morning person, but you're becoming a morning person because you are becoming someone who exercises regularly, someone who takes time out for yourself until the rest of the universe happens. So that's that's how I started because that's also how I started this podcast. It's like you're starting out slowly. You might start with psychobabble. Well, you might not be able to ride more than five minutes until that popo starts hurting. But you have to start. Because think about mm, when you learn to ride a bicycle outside. You can read all about it, but until you get on that bicycle, and you might need some training wheels, you don't know how to bike. And you build up from a tricycle to a bicycle and you get rid of the training wheels and then you can ride further and faster and you never, ever forget how to do it. So maybe you already know how to exercise. Well, I didn't know how to discipline myself at a home gym. At a home gym, what do I do? So I just started with the bicycle. And if I got on for five minutes, it was five minutes. And then maybe that was every day. Maybe that was every other day. Then I built up to 10 minutes. And the fun thing about these bicycles now is they're so high tech that on the Peloton it shows you, you know, how fast you're going, how much resistance there is. And that together makes a cadence or, you know, your output. So the wonderful thing about that is you can see on the screen how fast you're going, how you can build up on that. So I, I took a few different avenues. It took me a while to find the instructors that I meshed with, the music that I wanted to hear. I mean, they have absolutely something for everybody, which is really cool. And you don't have to have the Peloton bike in order to use it. But for me, I really wanted... <laughs> My process of elimination, I ended up with the bike, but so I built five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day. And a funny thing happened once I got on and started this regime, just five minutes. You can take that for yourself. You deserve it. I didn't want to get off because it was like, oh, well, that was fun. Because these instructors, they'll keep you motivated, they'll make you laugh, they'll make you cry, they'll make you think. And that's what happens. You get your blood flowing, you get the oxygen flowing, you just get going. And it's, and it's really quite spectacular. So do a little experimentation, what might work for you? So the fun thing about that building block, and I'm like, I don't want to get off, but yeah, I got to go to work, on, you know, whatever, is... One hour I have now in the morning. No matter what, for that hour, I exercise. It did not start out as an hour. It started out as five minutes, and then I built upon it. But I'm not on the bike for an hour. I'm on the bike between 15 to 30 minutes. Sometimes there's live classes that I want to join, and... Uh, you know, they might be longer, so I stay flexible, but you can plan that on your schedule ahead of time. You schedule everything, no matter what. After that, building up to the half hour, I went, okay, I'd like to start some strength training. So they have on their app a whole bunch of strength classes for different levels. So I started with beginner strength, five minutes, upper body strength, five minutes. So built that up to then 10 minutes. And that's where I am right now. So what I do is then one day I'll do upper body, next day lower body. So then I changed it up again. For me, having the same instructors, the same little voice in my head, really helps. So in order to 
do that. I found an instructor who I liked. Took a while. Again, meshing with the music, the vibe, the the intonation, like, you know, are they encouraging? That type of thing. And built it up. So now I'm at a point where uh, I think it happened about a month ago. I'm like, mm. so upper body, lower body, what's happening in between? And that's when I decided it's time to crush my core. So I added that. Five minutes. Five minutes. That's it. So if you're thinking, hmm, what can I do? How can I do it? What's going to take me to the next level? What's going to get me to level up on my own physical fitness as an accoutrement or something special for your mental fitness because it kind of just flows together right you get oxygen pump and you get you start thinking differently you start acting differently and you just hold yourself mm, a little bit better posture it's actually quite nice you know, because like I said in the beginning those pounds didn't go on overnight I, I had two years to collect them so I thought, okay, I'm going to give myself two years to get rid of them. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to report, as you can probably see <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, that uh, it did work. And now it's my daily routine. No matter what, I get up. And, you know, life happens. So if I don't have an hour, if for some reason... I only have 30 minutes. I only have 10 minutes. I only have five minutes. Oh, you can find five minutes in your day. Absolutely. No matter what, I get on my bike. I was really challenged when I went on vacation for the first time in four years. When the place we I went to, um, their equipment was a little... <laughs> a little ancient and a little sparse. So uh, I still did it though. I had, I'm like, I'm not going to come up with an excuse why I can't do this. And my goal this year, and I'm going to share this out loud because now we are in the month of May. So uh, we're into the second quarter of the year. And my goal is every single day, no matter what, I will do some form of exercise because they have walking, they have the treadmill, they have boxing, they have biking. They, you know, if, if you can't even figure out how, how am I going to walk for half an hour, they have a little person that will sit inside your ear encouraging you to take the next step. Maybe that's what you need. Maybe you don't need that at all. Maybe you just need to start with five minutes and little building blocks and keep building and leveling up. Think of it as a game. Think of it as something you can do for yourself. Think of it as maybe your personal time before everybody else gets out of bed and needs uh, breakfast, the dog needs walking, um, oh, you know, where's Johnny's backpack, all that stuff. It takes time to build upon, though, but you deserve this, and you can take the time. And in closing, I want to give you a little quote from James Allen. And he says, because I, I like people to know I don't make this stuff up, the body is the servant of the mind. It obeys the operations of the mind, whether they be deliberately chosen or automatically expressed. Ah. <sighs> Strong, pure, and happy thoughts build up the body in vigor and grace. The body is a delicate and plastic instrument which responds readily to the thoughts by which it is impressed, and habits of thoughts will produce their own effects, good or bad, upon it. Habits of thought will produce their own effects, good or bad, upon it. Our bodies are quite malleable. We can manipulate our own bodies 
to way too much, way too little, or way just right. So maybe try out some different ideas. Think of the Goldilocks effect. She tried that porridge, and that one was too hot. And then she tried another one. That one was too cold. But she didn't give up, and she tried one more serving of porridge, and it was just right. So if you like the show, please share it with someone you know and maybe give us thumbs up or subscribe. I have some great guests coming on the show this year and uh, I really want to give back to the universe so that we can all live an inspired life.